David over here uh, wanted to do a video for the, the Pigskin Palace. Uh, I had done some for my leagues and made little videos, talking shit, having fun. He liked it. He wanted to do one for this league. So we got together uh, the all-star lineup for the league, the Pigskin Palace. Top three teams. So we got number one, David. Uh, what the fuck do you go by now? Uh, my current name this week is uh, it's a current topic. Uh, rest in peace, Watson, and my money because probably my money just went out the window with my uh, star quarterback getting injured. So we'll see what happens, but it's not looking great. And then we got number two. Um, DC for life, Dallas Cowboy for life, Michael. Why would you want a Dallas Cowboy for life? Because I'm a Cowboys fan for life. All right, well, I'm going to be a Cowboy this week. <laughs> Cowboy playoff run. You're gonna Sean get beat? Puffy Colston getting his ass beat. Go ahead, John. And on the ones and twos, we've got the White Mocha McCaffrey. <laughs> McCaffrey, huh? McCaffrey. You still sticking by that? Sticking by it. I offered to trade you, <laughs> McCaffrey. If it was a point per reception league, I probably would have did it. But. Yeah, he'd be fucking way but more But you don't even start the guy, and that's your team name. I, <laughs> Look at I'm looking at his <laughs> roster right now. <laughs> because I got too many running backs. Cause, because Dude, he's got Hunt. You can't bench Hunt. No. Nope. Yeah. And Martin. It, has Martin been yeah, double figures been, every um, week? It's hit or miss. He's been solid. Um, but let's let's start off to the beginning of this motherfucking deal. Uh, there was supposed to be. We a, don't get no AdSense on YouTube if you cuss. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. We ain't gonna get enough <laughs> views to cuss. The 12 dudes in this league, three of which are in this room, aren't gonna get us anything. <laughs> I'm gonna have all my ladies watch it. Go ahead. So you drag me into a league that I can't, had to draft. From my car, I didn't know what the actual scoring system was and what the roster positions were, and I was drafting from an app in rush hour traffic. Yeah, um, Darius hit me up, said he needs some people for his league, so I decided to round up some people, get them in. Um, it's not a point per reception league, so I'm definitely missing that. Uh, but, you know, it, it involves money, so I figured give it a shot, you know. Yeah, but that's why I named my team after a guy that I'm not playing because I drafted too many fucking running backs ex expecting there to be a flex position. Well, I also thought McCaffrey would do better running the ball, which hasn't really panned out. But that is, uh, yeah, I thought the whole Carolina team would be better than the hot garbage that they are. That, so I figured a, a yeah. good way to do this video to start it off would be to, uh, since there's a lot of us, you know, it was like basically Darius's group of friends and your group of friends coming together to do this league. That we would go down the standings and kind of uh, get to know some of these individuals. So does that mean we do the commissioner last? I we'll get there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Stand by, Darius. It we're, might be a while. We, we're gonna go from first to worst, not worst to first. Uh, all, right, all right, Darius, just keep. You might want right, to fast so, forward this, Darius. Uh, I'm not. This seems to be a new team in the league. Uh, R.I.P. Watson and my money. Yeah, that would be me. Uh, yeah. You like to change your name? What What is it about you and your name that? don't seem to be consistent well i like to keep it interesting um we got dog bitch in the league so you know i had to go at him a little bit you know i'm, I'm not really big on the making a political stance in the league I just play fantasy football and shut your bitch whiny ass up man, you're the trash talker huh mm -mm, yeah man just just, just, <laughs> just play, try to make it fun just play ball man don't be coming at me with dog and dogs and knees but um dogs the rest you knees. know dogs and knees motherfucker but, yeah, I've been in first place all but one week this season, you know, all but one week. But, I mean, with my quarterback injury, I'm not sure that that's going to continue. I mean, and Sean, my my boy, Sean Puffy Colson, my former security uh, security boy I used to work with in uh, Charlotte, uh, it looks like he got a good shot of beating me this week. He just got he just got Elliot back. So that would probably drop me from first. But, Mike, you're not starting off so well, so if you lose. I guess we're going to still be Actually, tired. I would still be in first. For another week. I'll probably be third. For another week. Because if he wins, then. Yeah. So we could all, all still be in third. Uh, the knee guy he could move up, but, you know, whatever about that guy. Yeah, um, my team's hit and miss because I pick I people that I didn't really mess with and even know. Well, you can go ahead and uh, <laughs> introduce his team and start on him. Yeah, first. number two, obviously, on mic number two is Michael, DC for life. He is. Uh, Looking to take an L this week because yep. he got beat up by a couple Jets. Yep. He Last got night, or yep. Forte put up 20 on you. Tyrod Taylor put up put another 20. 26. So, you know, you're looking 
you just climbed up to that number two spot, but it looked like that might be a, a quick one week thing. Yeah. <laughs> you actually took out me uh, for that number three spot. What's Amari Cooper going to do this week, Mike? I don't know. You tell me, <laughs> Mr. Raiders fan. <laughs> you should have traded me earlier in the year. He only had one good week for me. Yeah, man. Yeah, that, that, that week was he got me season. 33 points. So I got Devonte in in another league. Actually, in another league I'm in with Darius. He's a. Uh, I expect more out of Devonte, man. I'm looking at your roster now. Oh, Brady's on a buy for you this week. Yeah. Ooh. And I was gonna play Andy Dalton. I'll fuck that. So I picked up Jared Goff. Jared Goff. Yeah, and Dave is also hurt by the the Vikings bye week. You know, when you're rolling out two Vikings wide receivers, yeah, that's gonna hurt. I'm I'm hurting this week, man. I'm hurting. So Sean, it looks like you're probably gonna get that uh, W this week, but I'm gonna give it a shot. So how we all got into this league is obviously through David. I know David from my time in the military. David came to live in Minnesota, check out this great white north in wintertime. That's how we met Michael when we were all slinging groceries at the Walmart DC. Mm-hmm. Like he said, DC for life, right? And uh, so that's how we all ended up in this league. The tallest Mexican I know, Michael Mata. Uh, but let's go to number four. This is one that I'm, Michael and I don't know. Uh, I think you're a big fan of his. Uh, takes a knee. Let me, let me look. Name him. is Jay on his little profile thing. Let me take don't a look. Don't want the dog. <laughs> dog. Let me take a look at his roster. Yeah, he had Forte going off uh, Thursday, which I got Forte in another league too. And. 21.6. I, I don't I don't think I started him. I wish I would have started him. But he had a good start. Um think you can come back and get him this week, Mike. Hopefully. But take no. him out for you. He got T I hope. He got T. Y. Hilton. Still to go. Todd Gurley, still to go. Ertz is questionable this week. Yeah. What do we what do we got for Ertz? It says we'll play. It looks like he's gonna play, but he's listed as questionable. Now, do, if I understand correctly, some of your name changes have been specifically in response to uh, Takes a Knee? Uh, yeah, man. Do we know who this person is? Like, is this like a friend from back home? Or one of, nah, I, I think he's just nah, one of Darius's fan or something. One of his uh, friends or something like that. I don't know the dude. There's a couple in here I don't know. The only thing you know is that you're offended by his name. <laughs> I don't, I, you hear enough of that stuff on... um. The whole Trump, even the back of the Obama, this and that, this and that. You hear enough of that on social media. I just don't feel like hearing the fantasy league, to be honest with you. I just want to have fun. What's he going to do? Take a knee and suck a, and suck a dick. Yeah, <laughs> so? that's, yeah, that's what I figured. So is this, <laughs> this must be a white gentleman? No. Nah, white gentleman? I, I don't think so. Now, how many other veterans are in this group? Is it me, you? Um, are there any other ex military in here? There might be. Uh, there might be another one. There's a couple of people I don't know. So, but as far as I know, that's the only two off the bat. All right, and then number five, we've got Mr. Max Team. When I checked on his little profile, username Mr. Mac, so it seems appropriate. Uh, do we know who Mr. Mac is? Mr. Mac would be is the only, uh, the one of the three I do not know in this league. No, another one of Darius' friends or fam. I'm not sure. Do not know him. I'm going to check out his roster real quick right here. I took him out last week. You beat him last week? Yeah. What was the point differential? I don't know. Probably not that big. He's got Kelsey. Kelsey's stud. A.J. Green. Stud. John, Julio. Oh, he's, he's the one trading Julio. Oh, they got the trade that got vetoed with Sean. Okay. Yeah. Alex Smith. Ingram, who now. Yeah. He's got he's got a solid team, man. He really does have a solid team. Gus Kowski. Yeah. It was um, 40, 43 to 92. I had 92. He had 43. Oh, so you Last put week. it on him. Wait, yeah. wait. <laughs> no, he had 43 points? Yeah. <laughs> what happened? Like injuries or bye weeks? Did he forget to set his lineup? I'm Moncrief got zero, zero wide receiver. Who is that Dante Moncrief? Jamal Charles had two. His tight end, Vernon, had two. Vernon Davis well, had two. Well, Jamal Charles got pulled from a game after Dak he fumbled had the seven, ball. So. Dez only had less than four. Dak had a bad game. Tavillia had my Raiders kicker. Sorry about that, man. Wish my Raiders kicker would have did better for you. Because the Raiders suck. We haven't been that great. By the way, I'm a Raiders fan in case. I know a lot of y'all know that, not all. But you had Cole Beasley coming in with .8 points. Pretty strong there. (laughs) Mike, you won despite Cole Beasley. Yeah. Well, you you had to go with your Cowboy, though, huh? Yeah. How many Cowboys do you have? Oh, you got Williams? No, I got none of the good ones. 
Is that the only I Cowboys got, you have? Yeah. Man, I thought you was a real Cowboys fan. Everybody else had the Cowboys playoff run. Took most of them. I don't have. Tavecchio was the only Raider. Well, I had Janikowski. Then he got hurt, so I picked up Tavecchio, but and then I had to cut him or whatever. You don't have the quarterback? You still got oh, car. Oh, I got car. My bad. Your broken car. Car, man. He's, he's <laughs> solid, man. Broken back, but broke back car, but he's been doing okay, man. He had a good. He had a bunch of points that first week back from the back injury. Or was it the second yeah, he week did. Back? Yeah, he did. All that second talk, week. Second talk week. about Tony Romo with his back and collarbone injuries. Now look at Derek Carr and Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, I can't stand Tony Romo's voice on his announcing thing. But anyway, uh, he's a squeaky little something. Dude, bitch. I didn't know. I didn't know he would talk like that, dude. Yeah. Like I, as a quarterback, I thought he was pretty solid. But uh, yeah, Dak called him out. He's like, "Don't be calling none of our plays up there when you're." Because he's announcing the game this week. Oh, really? The Cowboys game versus the Chiefs. That's funny. He's like, don't be calling out our plays. Speaking of the Cowboys, we got number six. Sean, please don't let my trade go through. <laughs> that, Playoff that, run. That's kind of my fault. Sean hit me up. He knows I've been doing fantasy a lot. And I guess he accidentally approved his trade that just got vetoed. And, and reached. How do you accidentally do something that works? Uh, you push the button twice? It's a little questionable. It. Maybe he was drinking a little bit, smoking a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> But I know he hit me up for advice when I was at the gym getting all buff. And uh, I, I gave him some advice. Picking up your 10-pounders? Yeah, picking up my 10 pounds at a time. But um, And I told him, man, try to get everybody to veto the trade. They might hook you up. And we all got it vetoed for him. So, yeah, that's Sean Colston. He lives in Charlotte. Um, he's got a bunch of kids like the rest of us. Cool guy, man. Can't play basketball. Horrible basketball player. But, you know, we used to go to a lot of games together, work together. Cool dude. Did he work at the mall like you did? He did work at the... Yeah, you came in that mall before, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, he was uh, He was actually my... Darius was the account manager. I was second. And then uh, Sean was my sergeant or whatever. He he was the weekend supervisor. I was the weekday supervisor, first shift. So, yeah. And I, he moved, after I left, I think he took over or whatever. For a long time, actually. Yeah, well, uh, hopefully... You know, he learned his, a valuable lesson in how to play fantasy football by having to grovel to the rest of the league to please vote against this terrible trade. The thing is, if he beats me this week and me and Mike lose, he's right up there at the top pretty much. He'll be tied with the best record. Um, Point-wise, he'll be in decent. He could move up to, like, third place or whatever. He'll be right in the mix for the top if he beats me this week like he has a good shot to. And this is the guy with Ezekiel Elliott? Yep. So now so Ezekiel is going to start. Because they keep going back and forth with that. So I got Ezekiel going against me, too. How much time are they going to do that? Dude, oh. they did that a lot. <laughs> it seemed like every day it was something new. I'll... I know. Like, oh, you're suspended. Next day, oh, you're not. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. I know, man. It's people using up their waivers positions, trying to pick up backup running backs, only to find out Ezekiel's getting up. People cutting Zeke, only to find out that now he's playing that somebody else picked him up. Oh, oh. They shouldn't be toying with people's emotions like that. With people's money. Yeah. That's it. Uh, so number seven, is she gonna come make a guest appearance? Or I don't she think busy? so. She's upstairs putting the kids to oh, bed. Oh, she upstairs. Is my lovely wife, uh, Sarah Gin and Juice. All her fantasy leagues this year have the names of players she did not draft or <laughs> add in free agency. Wow. She's more. She cares more about the name being cool than actually playing well. Mm. Um, so yeah, she's she's upstairs putting the kids to bed. Well, how'd she do last week? Uh, she did all right. She did all right because I, I don't. Uh, Would you say earlier that she got doubled she got, up on points? Yep, she got murdered. I she, think the, the team that beat her had the most points in the whole league all year with like 143 or something. Oh yeah, I beat her. Oh, okay, yeah. it was like 143 to 72. You know, That's yeah, no big deal. I had the highest scoring defense all year with Baltimore at 29. I think Deshaun came in with 35, second highest for a quarterback all year. Yeah, 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 I did a little something, but I won't have them anymore. Honestly. Yeah, yeah. So. You enjoyed that. Uh, you had all your stuff hit at the right time, and also you didn't pay attention to really your bye week situation. All your teams hit and off at the wrong time. So I like that challenge. And uh, I actually play her this week. Oh, husband uh, and wife going at it. What's you, the prediction right now on the uh, Yahoo? Uh, I'm not looking at it specifically. But let me I can, pull it I up can here. get to you. Oh. All matchups. Right now it's twelve point eight to thirteen. Uh, I had two players go. Austin Safarian Jenkins shit himself. Uh, so I did not. I only got two points out of him. I got ten out of Rob, Robbie Anderson. So I was out right there. Uh, she got thirteen out of the Jets defense. Ooh. 
which is in all my other leagues is uh, on the waiver wire. So there you go. She's got that going for her. Um, it's predicted 52 to 48 to me. 86. 52 to 48 total score. Yeah. Oh, percentage. Uh, percentage. Uh, so it's uh, Yahoo's got me predicted to beat her by one point. Okay, so it can go either way. So I'm hoping her DeAndre Hopkins struggles a little bit. With, yeah, uh, Tom Savage. Yeah, with Savage yeah. in there. That's your so. quarterback. They should have picked up Kaepernick. Dude, we could say that about. Well, I'm just saying. Like as far as somebody eventually will, but it's like every time a player gets hurt, pick up Kaepernick. Well, one, it would have got the ownerships team would have come back to him a little bit. It would have been less mad about the stupid shit he said. Well, in the Houston situation, it would yeah, you're hey, right. Who, it would have made some sense. Who picked up Brian Hoyer instead of Kaepernick? I know somebody did. Brian uh, Hoyer wasn't he already with uh, Green Bay? Brought him in. It would, he was supposed to go to New England, but yeah. Green Bay brought him in. But Brian Hoyer? Yeah, Hoyer. <laughs> Uh, did they? Yeah. I didn't know that. Uh, why pick a garbage person like that when you can probably take a chance at Well, Kaepernick? the thing is, somebody would t- is they traded, somebody take a chance. They yeah. traded their left tackle because they had a mobile quarterback in Texans. The, now they're going to put a statue, a guy who got blown up in the first week of the season. Who, I'm Savage? Not, yeah. Savage got sacked, was the he most sacked run? quarterback in week one. No. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, so, I mean, I know of him. I don't know if he runs. So he was the most sacked quarterback in week one. And they put a statue back there. They traded their stud left tackle because he didn't want to be there anymore, and they had a mobile quarterback. I'm not a big Kaepernick fan. I give zero shits about the taking the knee thing. But for a guy who in other leagues has DeAndre Hopkins and Fuller, give me a quarterback that runs similar like in stature, like that rolls out of the pocket when he throws and can move on the run as opposed to a David statue. David Hubert? <laughs> yeah. David Hubert's going to hurt his ankle on a change of direction drill. <laughs> uh, Whatever. So let's go down. Uh, that being said, uh, Texans are garbage. And uh, I think I'll be able to be- beat my wife because I don't think she's getting any points out of John Deere Hopkins. I'm rooting for your wife, but I need it. I need it. Me and Mike would prefer her well, to well, for well, the standings. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, fuck no. I'm going to move back up. And, you uh, might. Number eight, we've got William's team. That's the well, line. I am is the name listed on the profile. So, so he, another really genius name. Yeah, I don't. That's Darius's friend too. I don't know about him. I'm trying to pull up his roster right now. Can't do it because uh, we're in the lower level. Because you have fucking sprint. That's why. Sprint for life. I've always had sprint ever since the Carolina play small days. Just Darius and Sean. All right. So he's got Cam Newton, who's hot garbage. Jeremy Macklin, who hasn't performed much and has been injured. He's also got Will Fuller. Will Fuller. Uh, so he's got Will Fuller. And that's going to without. Yeah, he was doing good with uh, Deshaun. but Yeah, but he's, he's yeah. got like seven touchdowns on 11 receptions. So yeah, that's good. That shit's going to. LaShawn McCoy only got him two and a half fucking points. Oh, damn. Uh, he's he's going to. He's rolling out one of the backup uh, wide res, or running backs from. Which Miami, one? Damian Williams. Is now in Damian the one's gonna start? Yeah. I know it's a committee. It's a committee. Him and uh the other guy I picked what's his name? The other Miami guy. I picked him up. Drake or whatever. Yeah, Kenyon. Kenyon Drake. Drake or something. But uh well people think Drake's the better like runner. Yeah. yeah. Uh he was the that, highest that's draft why I picked pick him of up, the, yeah. the three, but I just why did you get rid of a Jai like that, dude? Because they didn't like it. He was mad. This is, was it was the second got, year, third year? Yeah, but remember he got benched like when he was mad that Arian Foster got the starting spot, so he got benched his first game. So he's kind of temperamental, but like Salty. it didn't matter. Ain't nobody got po- any yards behind that well, back. Yeah, last year a Jai was just phenomenal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then he's also got like the most droppingest fucking tight end, Eric Ebron. Oh, that they're trying to trade him. He's yeah. on the trade. They were trying well, the, to trade him. Yeah, because well, he can't hold on to a fucking ball. He, when he, he came block. out of college, he was supposed to be the shit. Dude. Yeah. yeah. Really, all he is, he's not a tight end. He's like a fucking big slot receiver. Yeah, he's a big dude. All right, so that takes us down to number nine. Headhunters. This would be uh, Darius's brother. Norman. Uh, goes by Shaft, actually. But his name is Norman. <laughs> Pretty big dude, man. I don't know if you. Want to, I mean, he can't beat me, but he could probably beat you. Like, def, he definitely can't beat me in basketball, but he already knows that. He definitely knows that. 
They all know well, that. I ain't scared of no dude named Norman. <laughs> nah, Norman. Norman, he's a real cool dude too, man. He, he's cool as shit. Uh, real, real I good guess guy. With a name like Norman, you'd have to be. Actually, uh, you knew Carmen, right? Yeah. He, uh, how I met Carmen is Darius and Norman Shaft were living together in Charlotte, and I would, you know, come over visit. I think I took Darius home sometimes or whatever. And Carmen and her cousin were like the townhome were split in the units or whatever, and they were the one right next store. So, yeah, that's how I know him. Why does he go by Shaft? Cause it's a lot cooler, man. It's more intimidating. The ladies, the ladies like a man named Shaft. You don't want to. Is he bald? Uh, Shaved I head? I don't think he was bald. He dark skinned. He, he might like be now. Dark. I don't know, dude. I don't look at guys like that, man. Y'all gonna well, have I'm trying to... to see if he looks <laughs> like the movie like, character like Shaft. Shaft. Oh, um. Ain't no gay shit. I'm just trying to. Nah, I, I don't. I I'm don't. just trying to see if he actually looks like the character from the movie. Well, I guess. I think it's just a nickname. The, so not the the new Shaft was bald, right? It was uh, the original Shaft had a big afro. Did he have a big afro? Dude, I don't know. That's your time, man. I ain't no, I ain't as old as you, man. <laughs> you and Mike are up there in age. I man. don't have any grandchildren, so <laughs> I don't have any Ooh. grandchildren either. <laughs> anyway, enough about this guy's looks. He's a cool guy, man. Let's see if I can pull up his roster. Grandpa David. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Dude, my my uh, sprint service is not working great. Won't you pull up the I rosters? I got sprint too. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> pull up his roster real quick. I got sprint too. <laughs> All right, he's rocking uh, Drew Brees, Jarvis Landry. Okay. Zay Jones got him 11 points and like two knee injuries uh, that night on Thursday night. Sterling Shepard, Marshawn Lynch, he's got your running back. Uh, yeah, I got no love for Marshawn Lynch. Next topic. <laughs> Uh, he's got Dante Foreman from Houston. Good. He's, and he's starting to back up running back. And then Tyler Croft, the Cincinnati tight end. I guess it's uh, since Eifert got hurt, he's, he's going with the backup. But that team is so up and down. Yeah, that's not a that's not a strong roster. But he does have three wins. Better than his brother. Well, the thing is, I'm looking at the points right now in the league. So, Norman... Uh, Shaft, Darius' brother, has got four more points total on the year, but he has three more wins. So Darius is, I think Darius is having a bad luck season. But we'll get to Darius in a little while. But, yeah, he's having some bad luck. Oh, yeah, like. he's definitely – his points against are one of the higher points against. Yeah, Darius players. should be having a couple wins. But let's uh, let's move on to – Merc with 10. a mouth. Merc with the mouth. This gentleman's name is Paul, according to his profile. Do we know who Paul is? No, I do not know who Paul is. Uh, Darius' is friend again. Got three wins on the season, three of five, same as uh, Headhunters, Norman. Uh, actually got less points. He, he, he does he, have the least amount of points in the league this year, but he does have three wins. So And he's, yeah, but he's also on three consecutive losses. Yeah, so he was actually three and two at one point. Okay. Actually, he might have been one, gave me my first loss, if I remember right, beginning of the year. Like the, I don't know, maybe, but. Uh, he's semi active. I'm just looking, I just know, I was started looking at people's moves. He's done 14 rosters. Actually, moves. everyone but your wife and uh, the kneeling biatch is in double figures for roster moves this year. So that's a, actually a pretty active league. Darius did a good job. Getting people in. Yeah. It's a pretty, Struggled a little bit to get them to pay, but, yeah. but yeah, getting well, them in. Yeah, and when you put money up there, people make more moves when it's for money. So that's, yeah. So we got well, his he's roster. Rock, he's got the stack. He's got uh, the Prescott Bryant stack. Some in the uh, the fantasy industry call that when you take the quarterback and the uh, wide receiver, so you get okay. both the points. Jamison Crowder, Ooh, that's our oh, guys. Ross, we got Golden Tate. Darius, remember that was a sword topic with us a couple years ago when I stole him from him. Uh, Jamal Charles looks good for two runs, fumbles ball, gets pulled from game. Yeah. So I don't know. That's a risky play right there. Yeah. Devonte Freeman. Um, Devonte Freeman's actually falling off a little. No, it's Tevin Coleman is now getting more running plays, yeah. and Devontae Freeman's catching more balls, yeah. which actually hurts the Devontae Freeman owner in this league because it's not a, a PPR league. Reception, yeah. So their roles have almost flipped. Coleman's yeah. getting more runs. Freeman's now getting more receptions. How do you feel about that, Mike? Are you still here with us? Yeah, I'm still here. <laughs> Got uh, Vernon Davis at tight end. Which is good as long as uh, Jordan Reed stays out. Vernon Davis is a good pick. Yeah. You got Ingram as a backup tight end. He's been a rookie sensation. Eric Decker on his bench. Eric, what the fuck 
It's happened to Eric Decker this year. Hey, the whole uh, receiving game in Tennessee has been hot garbage. They have, but Eric Decker and, every year – this is the first year Eric Decker just yeah, he, hasn't did shit. He hasn't looked dynamic at all since he came no. back from inter- – because I had him. I drafted him and then cut him. Oh, did you? Yeah, because he just – Man, he's he's falling fallen the hell off. In like dude. three or four of my leagues, but – I, cause I expected him to be underrated and like a big target end zone guy. And yeah, he, he was. He's him. always been a good touchdown guy, but this year, man. Oh, and shout out to him for having Tavecchio at kicker. Go Raiders! Garbage. All right, now we're gonna go on to uh, Mr. Grinder himself, Ooh. Mike's BFF, yeah. Walmart Distribution Center for Life friend, ranked number eleven, Ryan Sully's. Sullivan on a one-game winning streak. Who did he beat last week? I don't know. Motherfucker. He beat. <laughs> The third oh, place he beat he beat the the, the 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 guy in the ones and twos right now. <laughs> yeah, I am not happy about that. <laughs> Ryan, some scrub. <laughs> even with it, you're tight in on a bye week. Even though you were told twice that your tight end is on bye week. And what kind Still- of asshole goes around <laughs> my back to tell this dude to fix his lineup? You scared little punk. Hey, that's not the one. first time. He's like, hey, 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 pick up Trubisky. John's gonna get him. Pick him up for me. So I picked him up. There might have been a Monday night where <laughs> John had uh, Minnesota who a uh, Case Keenum. <laughs> yep. And had him play. starting, and uh, last minute Sam Bradford was back, so Sam Bradford was going to get the start. But uh, who did I tell you to pick up? Uh Trubisky from Chicago. <laughs> yeah, and you picked up fucking Bradford. I got Bradford, and Mike got <laughs> Trubisky at the last minute, so John couldn't play a quarterback and in a Monday night game. <laughs> I still played Keenum, and he still ended up with Keenum fucking came like in the, points. Did the second half and actually did better. So you fucking asshole. He, he lost though, so it worked <laughs> like, out for the best. You everything you do to undermine me, and I still keep hanging. I in did here that because you didn't enjoy my basketball league. It was fair play. I you, fair I play. owed you one, and I had to get you back. And then you're over here telling. <laughs> Dopey to fucking add more people to his lineup. I know, Ryan. Dude, how I told you several times, and this is for money. Don't you want to win money, dude? Anyway, but you got the win. You're two and six. Well, because my team had like the worst output. Yeah, it did have a bad points. week, man. Like every guy had his like season fucking low. They just shit themselves. I like I even wish like, oh, maybe I left a ton of points on my bench. And I was like, there's only one good player that I left on my bench, so I really just got fucked. You know, Kareem Hunt having six points doesn't do me any. Why this motherfucker got three defenses? Who, Ryan's got three defenses? Because <laughs> <laughs> he's a fa- fantasy why mastermind. Three- All right, Pittsburgh, okay. Dude, why you got three defenses? He got two defenses on a bye week? <laughs> doesn't he know you can just cut those? Oh, my God, what a return. And he's just going to leave his tight end on a, on a bye week and just keep three defenses. <laughs> Did you have to like pay his league entry fee to get no. him to come in? Yeah, he paid his own. <laughs> I guess he didn't care about his twenty dollars. And amazingly, he's got two more wins than Darius does. <laughs> yeah, let's let's get down. So, all right, we're we're the twelfth now, Bob. Well, cheesehead, and this gentleman's not from Wisconsin, correct? That's correct. We're uh, all closer to Wisconsin than he is, right? That's correct, Darius. Uh, obviously, we live in Viking country up here. Um, which their main rival right next door is Green Bay. So we got to hear about Green Bay, Minnesota nonstop up here. And so it's a little bit of a sore subject for the Minnesota guys here looking at your name. (laughs) And Darius is the guy that created the league, right? Darius is the commissioner of this league. See, I thought it was just like some scrub who did not care about football at all. Like his friend dragged him in. Darius definitely knows his football. He definitely knows his football. He's a big sports guy. Could have fooled me. Him and his brother both. With that 0-8 start. Yeah, man. Um... Some bad luck. I haven't followed him in detail. Has he had injuries? Well, he actually had Aaron Rodgers. So oh, okay, that, well, oof. but he wouldn't. Get, he didn't win any games before Aaron Rodgers. Yeah, never. that's nope. true. Also, uh, now I'll give him some credit, I guess, because he's made twenty-five his, moves. So, like, yeah, I got his roster up now. Yeah, he's trying. He's definitely trying. I'm looking at his roster now. Um, Hunley. Yeah. How's Deshaun? How's uh, Deshaun Jackson doing this year for Tampa Bay? I haven't followed him too hard. Garbage. garbage. Has he? Their whole offense is garbage. See, that's killing them then too. Because Jameis Winston, no matter what you saw on Hard Knocks, is garbage. He does have uh, Jones, the running back from Green Bay, who's overtook Montgomery. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Jones, a rookie, right? Yeah. He's he's he looking did, good right good. now. Yeah. 
That that's a good pickup on his part. Yeah, because uh, I had Ty Montgomery, and obviously you you doing the he's better. He's got Cameron Brait, which might be the best offensive player uh, in uh, Tampa Bay. Tampa Bay, I was kind of high off. I watched Hard Knocks, but they've been bad. They've been outright yeah, they bad. Were, they were supposed to be good this year. I've got mm-hmm. Evans in my two very expensive fantasy football leagues. He's yeah. my number one pick in both those leagues. It is hurting bad. Uh, so he's got break, but like Deshaun Jackson might have like 20 points on the season. Really? It's bad, especially since this is not a PPR league. Sammy Watkins, he's got, had a couple great weeks and then kind of fell the fuck off. Mm. Emmanuel Sanders, ooh, he ain't done shit. Got that Packers defense, though. Cheese head. Okay. You yeah, might so. want to give up on Hundley, by the way. Maybe Hundley will get a couple running yards. But Does he run? He is when he's going to get Just because he's not white, you think he's a running him. quarterback? No. Any guy he's kind of high good. yellow. I don't, I don't know. If, <laughs> let me see his uh, stats. Hoye had a nice running touchdown last Who? night. Hoyer. Hoye? Hoye. Thursday night. <laughs> what the hell? Hoye. He, he ran in there with that Justin Bieber haircut, dove into the end zone. Uh, He had 44 rushing yards last week. The week before, he only had three. Because his offense. I'm talking about Hundley. Yeah, his two yeah. offensive tackles are hurt. That's why. Not because he's black. He's not even that black. I think he's mixed. Uh, but um, he's three rushes he's got- for 44 yards. That's solid, though. Man. But he had 12.8 points, so he might get better. Got yeah. the bye week. Plays Detroit. Monday night, Detroit and Green Bay. Or that's not the matchup you thought it would be earlier in the season. All so right. Let's run down. So let's kind of keep an eye on these. Uh, so the matchups we got going. We got me at five and three versus Sarah at four and four. So, that, you know, if I win, I just slide further up. Uh, Darius, ooh, he's predicted to do. Uh, lose to Mr. Mac, which means Mr. Mac can move up a little bit. Uh, it's going to keep Mr. Mac in the hunt if, if and when he beats Darius. Yeah, Darius, we're going to need you to get that first victory this weekend. Yeah, Darius, and he's going to it's going to be a miracle. Uh, but if he does, otherwise, uh, Mr. Max. Now, do we know how many teams go to the playoffs? Is this a six playoff team? Oh, uh, that's a sore topic. I didn't want to bring that up because I know you'd get uh, agitated. What, three? No, eight teams. <laughs> eight <laughs> teams? God. God damn. <laughs> and also how they do it. Oprah's giving off playoff spots. You yeah. get to go to the playoffs? Also how they do it, which is different in a lot of leagues. So there's no bye week. So that means you could – let's say I kept my dude, Deshaun, and I just ran through the regular season, won it, was looking great. So there's no bye week. So the first – plays the eight seed in the first week meaning eight seed has a good week the first week of playoffs the top team in the whole league yeah. is done well, that's how i do in my league because i have a yeah. big league how many teams make the playoffs eight out of 14 though 14 okay you so, don't have bye weeks though no i always I mean, like there's the not a way weeks. to do it with that many nah. teams so last year i backed my way into the playoffs do and six Carl was and the have the one. first two of bye weeks yeah but in my team in my league there's so many eight people like i wouldn't have done eight for a 12 team league yeah. I only do 8 because mine's 14 so that is kind of well that of means rough. Darius is still in contention to make a playoff spot <laughs> technically <laughs> technically everyone's alive at this point <laughs> even Ryan well Ryan's not gonna make it well <laughs> let's not get crazy <laughs> well you gotta set your roster up but <laughs> yeah. not setting his roster didn't help hurt him against me um, so then uh, in other matchup we've got Three and five, Merck with a mouth versus uh, four and four, Williams team. Uh, Williams team's predicted to lose. Merck with a mouth <laughs> looks like he could actually jump up into the single digits, up a couple spots if he wins. Takes a knee, the number two and number four team. That one's gonna be tight. Uh, but it looks you like better make a comeback on that, Mike. Get that win. Takes a gonna win. Give him that L. Mm-hmm. Put that big so L on his dog bitch face. Make him take that knee. Ooh, take that dick. <laughs> that's a bold statement when he's predicted to get 118 points and you're predicted to get <laughs> 87. 87. <laughs> Damn, son, that's 31 right. points. So you, you could look, be like David and like go to the gym and turn turn your phone on when you get done and like find out your team's already put up 100 points. You still got like five <laughs> players left to go. Dude, that was crazy. Dude. Um, then we got David, uh, number one team versus Sean. Sean, Sean could jump up a couple spots if he takes yeah, you out. He's probably gonna get that win. Yeah, Zeke's gonna put up thirty points because he knows he's gonna get uh, suspended. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, 
my he's players on a bye week, so he's probably he's gonna go out there booty touching. Mm-hmm. Go out with a go out with a shot, and then we've got headhunters versus Sully's Crusaders. Headhunters is gonna get him, I'm sure. Sully's Crusaders is gonna forget to do the tight end again. Yeah, something. Um, so we do something. Headhunters will probably move up too. Man. It looks this is a good week for the bottom or the middle section of the league to really jump up. Yeah, it sucks. I want to just run away, but can't do it. Not no more. Not with your broken quarterback. Yeah, Carr's going to have to mend that back and keep going and strong. And the next three weeks of bye weeks, so it's six, like six and like five for teams on a bye. <laughs> so it could be some ugliness because, you know, people are going to have to choose who to drop. Mm, and who to pick up. Yep. So it's it could get and I'll real. play Mike next week. Do you? Ooh. Ooh. I got a question. That's the some. How come I've already played all the top teams like twice? No, you haven't. I looked at you told me that like a month ago, and I looked at the uh, the schedule. You played every team once. I think you're confusing with another league. When you're in 19 leagues, that's what happens, man. If you can't tell, John loves his fancy football. He's in a lot of leagues. Anyway, go I'm ahead. I'm in four leagues. This four is four times three. This is my least expensive league. Okay. <laughs> so. All right, we're going to have to probably wrap it up soon. Mike's got to be at work at uh, 4 in the morning. Four in the morning. So uh, you have any final thoughts on anything, Mike? What, what, do you, what do you have to say to the league? Coming for your ass next week. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. For me? For you. Oh, well, you big talk from my quarterback broke. <laughs> anyway, John, what, what, what was what was you going to say? I didn't want to interrupt you. Oh, I'm not like David. I don't care about – Win in the regular season. If I back Ooh, into the playoffs or like I make honors, it as the... Uh, like, like, like Shaft? You going back in the playoffs, Shaft? All right, go ahead. You mean Norman? <laughs> Dude. <laughs> Big talk for 20 hours away. <laughs> oh, whoa, oh, oh, whoa. Don't knock that over, man. All right. Oh, <laughs> um, but, yeah, oh, wow, I don't care how I get here. there. My only goal, like, ain't to win the regular season. It's back into the playoffs, make it in, you know, safely. Well, it looks like all three of us going to be in the playoffs. <laughs> You with never the eight know. teams, eight teams, man. Oh, f- oh but it is, the thing is, that it's a close. The standings are pretty close. Nobody's like, other than zero and eight, everything pretty close. <laughs> so, and yeah. uh, you know, I don't know how it would be. You know, you watch a lot of YouTube rap battles. I don't know. Oh yeah, are we expecting the the call out, the comeback? Is the East Coast Posse gonna get together in the basement? Who's gonna come back in the league? You're talking about? No, I'm talking about who. Uh, are they going to come back at us? Are they going to do the uh, nah. the remix? Are they going to come the back remix. at us? <laughs> the take you know. a knee remix. Yep. <laughs> you know, we're going to we're gonna hit them up no Vaseline style and it's just going to end? Or, or are they going to get together in Pause. their basement and talk Pause. shit? <laughs> Send a video back. Get that response video. I, I don't know if, uh, when your record's like 2-6 and six and 0-8 oh and eight if you want to respond, though. So they might just stay quiet until they get a few Ws. <laughs> I think it's stay quiet it's gonna long. be the bottom half of the league responding to the top half. They don't want yeah. none. they don't want these problems, dude. They don't want problems with me. None of y'all want problems with me on the basketball court. Oh, we ain't playing basketball. You know play football, football, right? Or football. I'll take y'all too. Your soft feet can't handle football. Uh, I can handle any sport. Ping well, pong. Whatever. All right, loud guy. We'll let you go out with the final word. Final word is y'all lucky my quarterback got hurt because it would be curtains for y'all. Um, now the league is kind of wide open. I could see John here taking it. I it's like see, your mouth. Ooh, I could see Mike taking it. Uh, I don't see Dog Bitch having a chance because he's a crybaby. Um, shit. Actually, Sean, Cl- Cowboys playoff run. Mac, you're all in it. You're just going to so, list off the entire fucking team? No. Nah, the entire I gave, league? I gave four other teams a shot. I gave four other teams a shot. I, uh, Sean, Mr. Mac, and you two. I gave four other teams a shot for taking the regular season. Playoffs, so much can change by the playoff time with injuries and people popping in of rotations and trade, whatever. So you can't predict that. But for regular season, I'd say it's one of five teams. So, All right. For the Minnesota division, we're out. Deuces.